But this bike is so light, so nimble. Saddle height. The cockpit view is amazing. This is the new Jawa 350. Hello guys, I hope you guys are doing great. Today we are at the Jawa showroom at Matur Tanda Road, Himachal Pradesh, next to Dhamsala. I'm here to check out the new Jawa 350, which has been recently launched. So this is the Jawa showroom, Jawa UST showroom. So this is the Java SD showroom and, and as you can see in a couple of bikes you have the Java Perak, the SD Roadster and the SD Scrambler and also the SD Adventure but today we are here to check out the new Java 350 So comment down below which one is your favorite SD or Java bikes so this is the new Jawa 350 so today uh, we'll have a quick look at the bike and uh, this will be my first impressions and uh, if I get to ride the bike then I'll share you my experience of riding the bike but uh, for now we'll just uh, look at the bike and see the how the bike looks and I'll give you the first impressions how the bike looks since it's a retro bike classic bike there's a lot of chrome going on you can see the chrome on the exhaust the engine the brake and also you can see the chrome of the tank and also on the headlight when you speak about the the classic and the retro motorcycles and you know, i think java comes to my mind you know with the the aesthetics you know that that's true to the the nature of the classic bikes and the actual uh, the CC is a 334 but then it's called the Java 350 uh, it's a 13.2 liter fuel tank it's a 6k uh, transmission and it's a liquid cool engine and uh, speaking of the the, uh, the, 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 the the saddle height it's a 790 mm let me check the saddle height I think you can see my feet firmly on the ground. I think the sitting position is good. And the, the curb weight of the bike is uh, 194 kilogram. It's almost similar to the Royal Enfield uh, Classic in that category. The, I'll show you the POV, the cockpit view. The cockpit view is amazing. You know, I think for me personally, I think of all the retro and the classic bikes, I think the, the Java has the, the most good looking or aesthetic in its true sense. Uh, staying close to its nature. You can see the Java logo here. Beautiful emblem on the fuel tank cap since 1929. And the, this mirror console is so beautiful. It's elegant, it's classic. You have the, the analog as well as the, 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 the digital. And the switches are also nice. You, can, you have the I button here, so you can, you know, you can set your trip A, B from here. The seat is also a little different. You have the seat is comfortable, it looks comfortable, and you can see the logo here. I'm not sure about the pillion rider, but the the rider has a good enough space. Speaking about the tire size, you know, I think the front section is a 18 18 inch. Uh, the disc brake is from the Viperi, and it's a 190 18 section. And in the rear, I think it's 17 inch. And you can see the radiator, it's a liquid cool engine. The ignition key comes here, not on the, the mirror console, but here. So you get to control, so you can switch on and off from here. Even the food bag, the food bag is kind of nice. It's white, it's not uh, tiny. You can also, you know, 
fold the, the pack. The brakes are uh, chrome. A lot of chrome is going on here, chrome. You can see a lot of detail that has went into the bike. I like this emblem, this chrome emblem on the, the front guard. And also the, I think, the horn. The, the placement of the horn with the Java logo. The hazard line is on. I think the mudguard is, the, the rare mudguard is also nice, the arc. You can see the Java logo since the original 1929. Let me switch on the bike and uh, let you hear the, the exhaust sound. So in order to start the bike, you have to, you, know, uh, you have to hold the clutch and then you get to This is the exhaust nodule here. Let me give a little riff. So overall, I think uh, the bike looks really good compared to its predecessor, the, the Java Perak and everything, the Boba. I think on this bike, you know, the power has increased. It's a 334 or 350cc bike. And uh, when you ride this bike on the road, I'm sure a lot of people will be turning heads. The color, the chrome, the stands and the the retro style i forgot to show you there are two exhaust pipes you know on the left and the right so that's nice so the only thing left is you know to ride the motorcycle and experience the the ride quality the, the cushioning otherwise overall i think uh, the bike looks nice and if uh, and if you are someone who is more into the classic or retro style i think you can definitely go for this bike. Beautiful looking machine. So this is the new Jawa 350 I'm riding. Uh, it's a very quick, it's a very quick machine. You know, you feel so light, even though the curb weight of the bike is uh, 194 kilograms. But when you ride the bike, you know, you feel it's very nimble. I don't feel like I'm riding a 194 kilogram bike. Wow, the response is really good. You know, I'm telling you again, you know, I feel it feels so light. Uh, as far as the gear, uh, the shifter is concerned, you don't have the, the heel shifter, it's only the toe. But my god, the bike is so nimble, so fast. See, the pickup is really good. I like the, the mirror console, it's really beautiful, it's very, it's very eye-pleasing. At least for me, uh, you know, who, like, who likes uh, retro bikes, the classic. See, it picks up very fast. When you shift down the gear, you know, it's so fast. Oh, it's, it's a toy. Seriously, I can ride this bike for like whole day and you don't feel the weight of the bike. I have a Royal Enfield uh, bullet and when you ride the bike you know you kind of feel heavy but this bike is so light so nimble 
I'm really amazed with the the how the bike you know performs it's very talky you know it's very like you know it's asking for more ref it's asking for more throttle the bike let me check the brakes mm, the brake is nice the rear the rear brake is also good oh it's nice the front brake is good you know, seriously you know uh, I feel like I'm riding a a toy I know I've been repeating a lot but it's such a fun some it's such a fun machine such a fun bike to ride easy to maneuver and since it's a new bike I don't have the the mirror so I have to be very careful The gears are easy to shift. But somehow I feel the gear ratio is much better in the Enfield, the Bullet Royal Enfield. Yeah, the bike is very torquey, it's very light, it's very nimble, it's nice. You feel like you're riding a, a toy. Nice. So this is the showroom. So the, the price of the Java 350 here in the showroom is uh, 215000 extra in price. And that's in the March of Hamzala. Uh, so if you want to come and check out the new Java 350, I'll share the details of the show in the description below. And I want to thank the staff and the manager of the showroom, Mr. Satish, G and the team. They've been absolutely great and very helpful. So I hope you like the, my sort of a small uh, impression of the new bike Java 350. And if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, do subscribe it. and. Uh, and until then, see you in the next vlog. Take care. Bye bye. 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 Bye b